what is going on y'all site perspectives geo fucks here and in this video what we are what we are discussing is hookup culture has some negatives you know what i'm saying now i'm not saying that hookup culture is just downright evil and wrong and you should never do it because I don't feel that way. I've clearly, I have definitely partaken in hookup culture. Um, it does have pros, but it also has cons. And I feel like there's not, there's nothing wrong with discussing both. You know, it doesn't have to be this black or white thinking. Um, there's a lot of nuances and one of the things that I personally dislike about social media is we don't really provide space for people to talk about the nuances. It's either you're absolutely against it or you're absolutely for it and arguably your average everyday person is in the middle. Most of us are, we're all on the spectrum, but most of us fall in the middle of the spectrum very rarely, I'm not going to say very rarely, but it's not that many people that are extremely to the left or extremely to the right, right? Put it like that. So, talking about hookup culture, um, some of the cons I personally see is, number one, there's a lot of loss of respect for human beings. And what I mean by that is when, because of patriarchy, misogyny, and the way we view sex through Christianity as well, or whatever predominant religion of your area, but in the USA, it's, mo it's predominantly a, the, the view on sex, religiously speaking, is, from, is coming from a Christian perspective. And because of that, on top of the misogyny, the toxic masculinity, um, very patriarchal lens. Because of that, we view sex as a, as a degrading act at the end of the day. Um, and a lot of people, if they view you as just somebody that they're sleeping with or you're just their hookup partner, you're the sneaky link, they devalue you. They don't really see you as being worthy of anything like you're literally viewed as a hoe and look at how we view hoes again it's a it's a derogatory term to degrade you so in my experiences that is one of the cons like people don't really respect you as a human being when they view you as just being a sex object like ain't nobody really checking to see how you feel like people have this viewpoint that you're not even supposed to care about your sneaky link you're not supposed to have any common decency. They're just there to be a, you know, uh, a sex toy to you. And that can be very detrimental. Number, the second con that I see with sex, um, with hookup culture is arguably most people are not really engaging in hookup culture to get into engage in hookup culture. There, people are... A lot of us are using hookup culture to try to form long lasting romantic relationships. And that is one of the cons is again, because the way we view sex, a lot of times when you start the relationship or to set up off with sex, that's where it's gonna stay. It's not going to progress into a romantic relationship because they are already degrading you. They've already devalued you. They like, and that is, again, that is patriarchy, that is toxic masculinity, that is misogyny, that is the Christian lens of sex. Like, it's not really viewed in a positive light, um, even though everybody wants to make a scene like, oh, yeah, we're having fun. No, that is not because look at how y'all treat people. Look at how you're treated. That's all I got to say. Um, another aspect is when you tie hookup culture into into with i should say with pornography it really messes up people's psyche again 
it's to the point where, especially in the gay community, people don't even know how to have regular conversations to get to know people. Instead, y'all literally rolling up on folks asking people if they're tops or bottoms. Are they verse? Are they sides? You know, you don't even know how to talk to people because everything is so permeated on sex and that's it. It's no longer actually asking what I would call regular questions to get to know somebody. No, you're up here asking about people's sex positions. You know, how big is somebody's penis? Um, you know, can you bust it wide open for a real nigga? Like, seriously, these are what people are saying. Like, it's no, it's no longer, hi, how are you? You know, what do you do for a living? What are some of your hobbies? No, it's, it's you know, how many bodies you got? Oh, you looking like y'all have gotten to the point where we don't even know how to have conversations anymore, y'all. Like, it's crazy. Okay. And, and granted, there's pros to, to hookup culture. Everybody is not acting like this. Everybody is not thinking like this. Everybody is not treating everybody like this. But these are definitely some of the cons that I've ran into. And yeah, and it's like, and then also as an intersex trans man who is often sexualized and fetishized hookup culture has definitely been a double whammy for me because it's like i'm horny just as much as the next person maybe a little more maybe a little less who knows but i'm definitely horny too um and it's like i don't even want to participate in it because i'm already only being viewed as a sex object and being fetishized i'm not being viewed as a human so if i'm really trying to get a you know i would like personally in the long run i would like to have a healthy romantic relationship for once and not just have everything revolving around sex um so i feel like participating in hookup culture doesn't really foster what i want for myself so i'm just kind of getting to the point in my life where um, I would much rather, uh, be not participating in that type of, uh, setup, you know what I'm saying? And then also, I think, uh, one of the cons is also the simple fact that you, at the end of the day, you are essentially playing Russian roulette with your health. It just needs to be said. Um, because you really don't know if these people are getting tested. You don't know how often they get tested, HIV tests, STI, STD tests. Um, you don't know if they're getting a full panel STI, STD test. Um, people lie about being on prep. People lie about being single. Um, people lie about their health statuses in general. Um, people lie about the sexual positions that they want to participate in they lie about their sexuality they lie about a lot of things so it's like again you're basically playing russian roulette when you participate in hookup culture i'm just going to be honest you don't really know what you're getting into you don't and not only just that but your physical health you don't know if this person is real, if this is a catfish. You don't know if this person is a serial killer. You don't know if you're walking into a potential sexual assault, sexual abuse. You don't know anything. And granted, thankfully, I have not ran into any of that, but I recognize that every time I had participated in this, there was a possibility that something negative or bad could happen to me and again i would just rather not constantly put myself in those situations also i definitely realize that like over the past few years i'm definitely realizing that yeah i am relationship oriented because even when i participated in hookup culture if i met somebody and the hookup was really well and the sex was really good i wanted to continue to have that hookup only with them right so i wasn't even using hookup culture like some people use it notice i said some because everyone doesn't do the same thing like 
some people literally are meeting up with different people all the time and that's them and then there's people like myself where really I would get on a hookup and then it would turn in and then it would uh, sometimes and a lot of times it would turn into a friends with benefits situation where I'm having a hookup, but it's with the same person consistently. I'm not hooking up with multiple different people each time I do a hookup, right? However, I catch feelings in the friends with benefits setup which there's nothing wrong with catching feelings, but like I said, hookup culture, toxic masculinity, misogyny, etc., makes it to the point where we're basically made to feel like we're wrong and stupid for having feelings for people that we are engaging in sex with. And then what don't be making sense to me with the friends with benefits part is, is it really friends with benefits when y'all don't even really be wanting to have a friendship? Y'all just be wanting to have a hookup. Well, don't call hookups friends with benefits because in my eyes, friends with benefits is having a friendship that you occasionally hook up with here and there. And a friendship, it re involves having feelings and caring about another person on a platonic level. And then a lot of us have the assumption that we are going to somehow be able to uh, get towards using that hookup to friends with benefits to hopefully end up in a romantic partnership or relationship. And that does not always happen like that. Arguably, it don't. What ends up happening is you think you you got you the you feel like you had these romantic feelings for somebody, but really y'all should have just kept it as friends with benefits because you can't. I've learned we ruin relationships that could have been great platonic relationships by trying to make platonic setups into romantic setups because the sex is good. And the sex being good don't mean that that's somebody you need to be in a romantic relationship with. Um, and that's another reason why, to me, hookup culture can have a con, because a lot of times it's a lot of lust, not a lot of love. And lust and love are two different things, um, and which kind of kind of brings into also, to me, the hookup culture mixed with porn. If you're not careful... Um, if you're not careful, it can turn into a situation where, um, yeah, it could turn into something negative. Let's just put it like that. It could turn into a problem if you are not careful. And that's just some of the cons um, that I personally have ran into.